talking about offices and officers, uh, with very few exceptions, uh, most people today don't believe that the office of apostle exists. And why is that? And if that's the case, have other offices been dropped as well? Well, uh, Larry, it's a great question, and it's this is the this is reading Ephesians is the good time to try to get a little bit of clarity on that because it's here in Ephesians where in chapter two, Paul is describing this great project of house building that God is uh, that God is all about, and the reason that people and I would be among those who think that the office of the apostolate and the office of prophet no longer is going on in the church in the same way that it was back then is because of what Paul says here in Ephesians 2.20. He says that the house is built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone. And he seems to have the idea that there was this this, um, this foundational work that was done by the apostles of whom Paul would be numbered, among whom Paul would be numbered, and the prophets. And the, and the reason, I think, an implication of the fact that he talks about apostles and prophets there is because he means not the Old Testament prophets, but the New Testament prophets who were circulating and uh, providing new revelation and new truth in mm-hmm. Paul's own day. That seems to Paul to be a foundation-laying work. And then he goes on um, in verse 21, in whom the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord. And the inference that, that many of us have drawn from this passage is that there was a once and for all ministry of the apostles and the prophets in the first century to, to establish basic Christian truth, and then all the rest of us come along after, and we build on that foundation, but we don't redo the foundation. So now the the work of the apostolate goes on, but it's based on the foundation that was once laid that doesn't have to be laid again. There is a prophetic ministry, but it's the di- it's different than the work of the prophets in the first century church. So people can go around today and call themselves apostles as they are sent uh, as missionaries or or whatever, as as church planters. But this is apostle with a small a and not a capital A. And people people go out as prophets. I mean, they get into the pulpit every week Mm. and carry on the ministry of the prophets to unpack the word and apply it, proclaim it. Mm. But they're prophets with a small p and not a capital P. 